If you want to reap the advantages of a Dewar Checker pair pattern for a high sill system, this pattern will show you how to do that. This is a mixed sill Dewar Checker pattern. There's a primary CPU that's at low sill, plus a two of two checker CPU pair as the checker. The Dewar software can be sill one or sill two, any sill you like, but the checker is hardware isolated and it's a two of two pattern to make sure it has fail shutdown behavior. The checker has the ability to shut down the primary and if the checker is not working, the hardware is designed so that the primary will automatically be shut down as well. There are two major pros for this pattern. The first is that it isolates the high sill from the low sill in hardware, so it's suitable for life critical sill systems, and the checker is entirely responsible for safety, so that sill is what determines safety. The second pro is that only the critical software in the checker needs to be developed at high sill. So in a system that can have simple safety rules, the checker might be a small CPU with not much software in it, and the doer might be a huge CPU with lots and lots of software. You're not entirely sure that the huge CPU in the doer will be right all the time, but what you do know is that if the doer tries to do something unsafe, the checker will shut it down, bringing the system to a safe state. This pattern allows frequent updates to the doer, for example, software security patches, while keeping the checker software locked down so that you do not need to recertify safety. Additionally, it's common that the checker CPUs can be very small and expensive micros because they don't have much to do compared to the doer. There are two significant cons to this pattern. The first is that you're only getting fail silent behavior. That can be safe for many systems, but it's not fail operational. The second con is you're using three CPUs instead of two for a fail silent system. But in many cases, that can be outweighed by the fact that most of your software does not have to be developed to life critical software standards, but rather can be low sill so long as you delegate all the critical safety functions to the high sill checker pair.